Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, put me on pay to win. Here's here's my thinking, okay? I think pay to win is easier right now. Copium, just due to the existence of the hatching chick. Be this. <laughs> I mean, there's some good names here, okay? Um, I I've been kind of getting blown out. I did get my first ten piece the other day. That I, on the beta patch, I should say. Um, that was nice. I felt like I I kind of was starting to get my sea legs back underneath me, but. What can you say? Life comes at you fast. Freeze me an apple. Most likely to stick around. At, at this point, you'd probably say the mosquito, honestly. But let's let's feed the fish, you know? it's It, it having 4 HP, that's a big milestone. I'm hoping that um, we continue to learn something about the game and, and what it means to us. I'm hoping we continue to get two wins in our first two rounds. That's very important to me. Uh... I'm hoping to pill you and have it hit anything. Anything's good here. I guess we should have bought you before we pilled. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. What you're saying there makes a lot of sense. Why don't we buff you a little bit? And all of a sudden, I mean, this is a, a strongish looking team. We basically bought a discount honey there. A high value honey. Don't mind, man. Don't mind. Are we going to do this? No, I think we're probably going to lose. Oh, no, we're not because we have a cricket. Nice try, honey badger scumbag. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, Freaking Ludwig viewer spotted. Okay, sell me. Throw a dromedary in here. This is future scaling. Not back to future scaling. Two different things that sound very similar. Now, why don't you feed me? Because you're kind of our anchor unit right now. But anchor in a good way, not a bad way. Um... Why don't you take some meat, because you're going to stick around? This allows us to get the utility of um, one more round of double ladybug instead of one ladybug that's one one higher. You blew it, mosquito. You blew it. Never mind. I love you. If I didn't kill you, I'd kiss you. Then we can do a uh, combine. Welcome. Don't really care for any of these units. I mean, a peacock at 3-6 is kind of interesting, but I like our double dromedary here. Um, I'm going to keep buffing you, though it may seem foolhardy. Let's throw a salad in there. We know you're getting a buff as a result. At some point, these dromedaries are going to come together, but the, the time is not ripe yet. The math was just beautiful on this one. So here's my advice for the new patch. Buy meat. Now, um, sure, let's level, even though we may sell this unit. I think we might sell it immediately. How about that? And I actually think, believe it or not, so you're giving 2-2? Two, two? There's something in my head that says, like, throwing out a big deer is kind of funny. What if you sold your fish, ran a big ladybug, froze a deer, and just had it basically get, like, a can a turn, and then... Keep feeding your ladybug for now, because you also get the nice buff out of it. Turn 7. We get some better foods after this. I think our stats are not looking that good. I guess we literally are trying a back to strat, but... Re taking a few turns to remove the central weakness of a deer, which is that its stats are bad, but its bus stats are kind of great. At least efficiently. That's that's nice for us. And you know what? We can actually uh, find a happy medium here. We can sell a mosquito. Now we got a 3-3 three, three deer that's going to get two stronger every turn. And at any point, we could combine this. I think a, a tropical fish a little too slow right now. Um, I think an apple's a little too slow. I do love a buffalo, but we can't run buffalo every game. At some point, we got to do something. Okay, so for now, why don't you take a meat? That will apply... In the future as well. What we really wanted to do was get a can. I, I don't want the hatching chicks. Although I will say, now I'm like, dude, a rooster in the Bacta tank is like the dream Bacta animal. <laughs> it getting a pair every turn until we pop it out is like a dream come true. Nice try. All right, I'm 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 off the... I mean, that's we've played that same person two times in a row now, I think. But I'm off the map right now, and I am loving it. We're at full HP. You know what? I'll, I'll go insane here. Why don't you give me one of these, and why don't you give me one of these? Because every round that we don't lose, 
I feel like is a free pass for more Bacta. Oh no, we drew. Longer Bacta incoming? I would like to see another Dromedary. Thank you so much. <laughs> now I feel like the, the combine here is nice. I gotta be honest, I think a Leopard in the Bacta tank is kind of pog. It's getting two extra attack every turn. Then we could just send it out there like a champ. But give me a rooster for now. They all do better the stronger they get, okay? Like, that's a given. I think we got to save this. You know what? No, you don't have to save it. Use it for a rooster. Our stats are not that good, but this rooster was kind of pog just sitting there. And our team is better as a result. Of, of what we got going on here. Not a ton. <laughs> we came close, though. We The only thing we didn't kill was their scaler, which is like, you know, one-tenth of their squad's efficacy overall. Okay, we're still doing great. We love that for us. I rolled. I'm not used to the order there. I apologize. The time has come for us to get a level two deer, I think. Now, at some point, we can sell a hatching chick for a leopard. We still got a lot of HP to work with. We're spitting out a 10-10 bus. We got a level 2 rooster at the back, which is a, an insanely strong unit. You could build your whole life around it if you wanted to. I'm not sweating this. Everything seems A-OK -okay to me right now. This is the new me, okay? I still don't think we care for a T-Rex. 4, 2, 3, 1, 4. Well, it is the dream squad for a T-Rex, but let's do it our way, okay? I want to do it a little differently. You with a 1-Up is kind of interesting. Let's try it. It's, it's fun. I don't know who needs melon, but... The, the real problem with this squad right now is we're getting no extra stats unless we pay for food. That's not the dream. Oh, deer with the one up at the front doesn't work. That's right. I One of these days I'm going to remember that. <laughs> so that is worse than me right now. Um, let's get rid of you. Let's add you. Let's buff this rooster. The rooster is currently our game plan. I'm not pulling this leopard out until we get a bunch of chocolate, or until we got a lethality situation, maybe, or a tiger. But a tiger, it's like 10 extra damage. Okay. I think we could wait one turn and freeze both. I'm, I'm going sicko mode. I'm going insanely sicko mode. Take one of these. Chocolate. Thank you so much. I'll never forget you. We got to think about it. <laughs> I don't know how much gold we're going to... We're probably going to sell... Well, we have to sell our dromedary too. So if we lose this round, I consider that acceptable. Oh no, my cow got killed. Oh no, my cow. <laughs> Won't somebody think of my cow? We draw... We win these! We win these. I don't believe it. Okay. How about... Sell me? Sell me. Buy me? Buy me? We had to do this in, an, in a different path to get the, the cow, but that's okay. I live with this. Am I insane to think that this is really good? I think we're doing 33 random damage at the start of the game. Just breaking the melon armor. I mean, against this squad, it was probably like the only chance we had. <laughs> we're, we're still going to lose, but I... I, I think we would have lost, like, way worse uh, uh, normal circumstances against that team. Okay, so we'd like our Leopard to level up. If it's not going to happen, we need to buy good Scalers. In case we win or draw, we're going to be happy we had that. Four, six, six, four. It's a terrible team for these purposes. Okay. I'm not thinking that we're a good chance to get to 10, but I'm thinking we had a great time. <laughs> I'm thinking we all had quite a lot of fun on today's episode. Wait a minute, hold on. That's nine. So you're saying there's a chance? Hit me? These foods are not good enough for the buff. I'll, I'll fish for something better. It's gotta be better than this. We need melon. We need melon. Okay, no melon. Then we're, we're forced into a pizza under duress. But only under duress, okay? 
Otherwise, I would have been very content to not run a pizza. We, there's no way we win this. Just embrace reality. We're not trying to live in an alternate dimension. I'm happy with nine because that squad was a little funky. And I'm starting to think I got my sea legs underneath me. But just give me a moment. I hear a baby crying. I'll be right back. Hey, so it's been four hours. Um, what did, what happened? We're starting a new run. I remember that we were on pay to win. Okay. <laughs> Looks like we don't need to get much catching up if we're already like, you know, in media res, so to speak. I love this start. Great names here. I mean, Smooth Sausage has got a lot of stuff. I like the idea of a missed president or a miffed president. I don't want to get political. Just saying the concept of... Uh, an angry president. I don't know. It's a little scary, I suppose. I wish I went with the smooth sausages, but that time has passed. Give me two of these. And remember, we're not thinking... Always remember, words to live by. Vin Diesel as Xander Cage. Triple X, 2002. I can't remember if this is said... I know I said I always remember. That might have been made up. Um, I can't remember if it's said to him or he says it, but someone says... Stop thinking Prague police, because they're in what at the time was known as the Czech Republic, now known as Czechia. Um, stop thinking Prague police. Start thinking PlayStation. And I was, all, as a kid, I, well, I'm not going to lie to you, even as a child, I was like, what? <laughs> no, thank you. We're not going to go puppy on this one. We'll take a, a third bird. Don't you know, and haven't you heard, haven't you heard that we got a third bird? I saw that movie in theaters with uh, three of my close middle school friends. We were in eighth grade. And even at that young age, I was like, pretty sure that movie was pure garbage. That was not a popular opinion at, at the Montana's next to the movie theater, though, after the movie ended. Um, it's so good. You know what? If any run could make a swan work at its current level... I think this could make a swan work at its current level. Now, how do I want to do this? I think we need to keep stacking the existing unit. I hate the placement here. We need like one more heavy hitter. So maybe what we should have done is maybe move meat around. But is, is it just me? We've been facing some kind of like uh, weird teams. I'm not uh, salty about that. That's an ox is very strong. It's a strong animal. Everyone knows that. Uh, another bird, huh? I think there's no reason we couldn't. Now it becomes a 6-5. It's like almost uh, good enough in its own right. I'm not necessarily a believer in the fish, though. Like, we're, we're reaching a point where something's got to give. And I think that something is actually... Let's get let's make you stronger, and then next turn we'll probably sell a uh, sell a fish, get two extra gold, second rabbit, buff as much HP on the ladybug as we can, and then we'll worry about positioning. This turtle's gonna cause us some problems. The math was so bad for us; <laughs> it worked out so badly. All right, HP causing us some issues. Okay, we're two away from lethal. That's good. That's that's a great place to be. So sell me, buy me, feed me. We need HP above all else. Targeted foods are, are extremely important. Couldn't ask for more on that one. Um, I'll be honest, I know you already got meat. I'm going to give you a little bit of extra HP and some garlic. I think this is a great time, maybe, um, to... Let's, let's start buffing the swan a little bit. It's going to be level two. It's going to be sticking around. The rabbit or the bird are lower on the depth chart. So we, we don't... You know, when it comes to buff priority, I think we're doing a good job there. This could not have gone better. I don't know if that was just positioning, but it couldn't have gone better. This is totally fine. Feed me. I think that's wonderful news. I think we could probably say goodbye to a bird, which is an 11-6. You come out. Oh, I almost tapped on the wrong unit. That's good, though. I'm, I'm rolling with the two rabbits for now. Now, of course... That's not really like a high priority for me, but we can at least, we'll, we'll get a level up next turn. I'm happy to have, and we can move around the positioning slightly. Three garlic, it's a little cheesy. I'm not going to deny it. Like, it, it feels bad, but, I mean, maybe we got to start doing stuff that feels bad to, to succeed in this game. I mean, it's it's been a bit of a nightmare out there. I'm not sure if you've noticed. It still is a bit of a nightmare, but I, I, I'm confident in this team moving forwards now. Like, this is good. It's round eight. Not really a fan of that. 
This is good. Um, this is good. But we could roll for a better animal. Or a better food, for that matter. We could roll you for one round. I don't mind. Yeah, let's do that instead. Um, we have one roll. Okay. Not necessary. Shouldn't be necessary. Targeted foods are important. We should not lose this on round eight with, with three wins. This is a much better squad <laughs> than the squad we're going up against. No offense. Big jewels. Not trying to cause any problems. Not trying to have anybody make, you know, the worst day at their job or whatever. But I, I felt pretty confident going into that one. We need some more, though. Round five, we need some more. Squirrel, it's synergistic, but it's not what we're looking for you know we need something with a little bit more potency right out of the gate scorpion something efficient i mean honestly we could keep you around i don't mind that i know we, we keep buying and selling them but there's a reason um we we don't want the buffs to pass to a unit that we don't care for three five two one it, it could not be better unfreeze me and we f we save good foods i do want to make an eagle work but i don't think this is the run but i i think the eagle Somebody tweeted me a screenshot of a, a level three eagle with a one-up that they just kept pilling to get level three tier sixes. And I was like, I gotta try that. We gotta get there with enough HP to make it happen, but <laughs> I do wanna try it. So you're not getting a buff, right? Yeah, you're not getting a buff. We mind. We mind that. So you should maybe be at the end. Let's do it that way. What can I say? Genius plays. This is a very synergistic team. I'm I'm thrilled to see it. Um, Poodle right now is lowest on the depth chart, which is a strange thing to be saying given the strength of the the animal in general. Um, but this is this is good. That's why we buffed our our seal instead. We have a problem, but the only problem really is maybe a lack of attack and also a lack of melons. So a level 2 turtle is not what you want to see in that situation where those are the things you complained about. But we have 32 HP on the back line. Hey, try uh, not leaning on the turtle so much. It's one of my favorite animals in the game. Could you, could you possibly give the turtle some help? Then you probably could have won that game, and I wouldn't be sitting here feeling like a, an a-hole just because I crushed that turtle's dreams and he had the whole team on his back. You did that to yourself, and and that's why I ran a hatch. Hit the seal, please. I'll never forget that. That will not stand here. We a lot of people they ask questions like, why aren't you leveling up the swan in this situation? As soon as we get on lethal, I try to get a little bit more like on Maslow's hierarchy of needs. I like to look for things that immediately help us because anything that has a long term horizon on it is no longer fast enough. Now, of course, after you win a bunch of rounds, it looks like you probably should have gone for that, but how, how were we to know? How were we to know? So we've heavily outscaled defense. We need offense. We need some stakes. I'm still happy to see this. You're going to get over-leveled, and you know what? That's fine because you're passing a pair on to everybody that you see. Um, I think that's okay. You're, you're now our strongest unit. Why do I have you at the back? Because I want you to take the buffs so the poodle could be... Maybe the poodle will be better off with the buffs now that I think about it. That's a good point. I think we will win this as well. Unless I've, I've grossly miscalculated. Shark with a stake is built for draws at best. I'm not being a, a hater. I mean, <laughs> Lord knows there's been enough runs I've made it like this far. Um, or, or not even this far, I should say. Uh, and had way less wins than this. So, again, not being a hater. You know what? We, we buy enough food. I'll, I'll take that as like a an apple. And you know what? Why don't we make you? It was like an apple with upside. Why an apple with upside? Well, because, you know, the, the ladybug gets the better buff after going up a level. You get 1-1 one, one stats from buying another ladybug. This, you know, that's an apple right there. Holy cow. I think once we get through the first unit here, the rest of the squad is going to fall apart. Nice try. Snake Tiger. You're going to have to do a little better than that to beat this version of me in a suit. That's all I'm going to say. And we fed the seal. I'm still going to feed the seal because it turns half of a pair into two pairs. Half of a pair because obviously the defense doesn't mean anything for us. 
even more so than half of a pair now that I think about it. We're looking for one good food. That's a good food. Um, you know what? This probably gives us more. That probably gives us the most. Could it? Ha this would only be the second 10-piece that I got over the course of the patch so far. I do see a turkey and a rooster and a fly and a sheep and a bee, but I do also see a team on my end that has quite a lot of garlic, and garlic is kind of... If, if the fly has one hater and the turkey has one hater, garlic is it. You just lost to a poodle. <laughs> Make you question your life choices a little bit when your turkey dies to a, a dog renowned for winning the Westminster Dog Show more than any other breed in history. Hold on. Westminster Dog Show winningest breed in history. The Wire Fox Terrier. I wasn't even close. I never, I didn't even know. Winning breeds. The, the single breed that has won the most is the Wire Fox Terrier. Two of the most popular breeds have never in America have never won best in show. The Labrador Retriever and the Golden Retriever. Sad story. Maybe, maybe one, you know, they're like the Canucks. Very popular in the Pacific Northwest, Sweden, and China. You can look at a map. I, I didn't just pull this out of thin air. It was posted on the hockey subreddit a while ago. And yet, 50 years, no Stanley Cup. 50k for a verse, no album out, and my pocket's so large that my Barbie's got to climb it. Thanks for watching. Um, we got 10 wins. It feels good. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.